Hey guys, Tim from Booth Events here. Booth Events is the best photo booth for iPad, and we're gonna show you how to use the DNP WCM and cellular data from the iPad at the same time. Now, you can use these instructions in this video with any iPad app, but the reason we're doing this is because David from Canary Capital said, hey Tim, I can't get my iPad to work when the Wi-Fi is connected straight to the DNP. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what I have is I have an iPad here that you're seeing on the screen, and it's got a SIM card in it with cellular data. And what I'll show you is that it's Wi-Fi. You can see that there, it's Wi-Fi is connected to this guy, to the DNP. And just to make sure that you know that I'm not cheating, if I go now, this is the control panel for the WCM Plus in Safari. If I go to network settings here, and then I go to Wi-Fi connection, I'm gonna disconnect that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, to, and I'm gonna guarantee that the cellular data is being used. So in other words, this thing is not connected to the internet. So let's just verify if we go on the iPad right now, we should not get any internet because we haven't done it yet. There we go, okay. So here's the situation that a lot of people find themselves in, right? So let's fix it. So let's go to the settings app and it's really easy. We only have to do this once. So we're going to change the settings on the WCM plus Wi-Fi on the iPad side. We're gonna tell the iPad to treat the WCM plus Wi-Fi differently. See that little eye on the right hand side there? Go ahead and touch that. And then scroll down until you see configure IP internet, it, automatic. I'm gonna just keep using, keep, keep trying Wi-Fi. So it popped that up because it's like, oh, there's no internet available. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so configure IP, I'm gonna touch that. And I'm gonna change that to manual. And then I'm gonna put in whatever I had before, which was 192. 168.4.67, so you'll need to write those values down. When you're connected to the, w, the DNP Wi-Fi, all you need to make sure is that it's 192.168.4. something. The net mask is gonna be this, 255.255.0. And here's the key, leave the router blank. That's the trick. That is telling the iPad, hey, by the way, don't try and use this Wi-Fi for internet. So I'll hit save. I'm done. Okay, so now I can see configure IP is manual. I've got an IP address in the dot four subnet. That's what I want. And my subnet mask is written there. Okay, take a good look at that. That's how it should look. Now let's go and check how it works. So first, let's go back to the WMP. Let's, let's reload that page. Let's make sure we're still connected to the WNP. Looks good. Okay, let's let that load. And let's go pull up some information about the printer. We'll hit that. Okay, so far so good, right? And again, I will show you, we are not connected. The DNP, this little guy, is, it's outbound Wi-Fi is not connected. We're only connecting to the DNP. It doesn't have internet. So I'll just prove that there. Okay, good. But now, if I go back here and hit reload, magically it works. This is using cellular data. So how did I do that? All I had to do was change the IP address specifically the router in this setting right here. See how the router is blank? That's the most important thing. And you can only blank the router if you set configure IP to manual. Okay, let's go ahead and add the printer in our Booth Events app, add a printer, air print, boom, there we go. And I'm done, I'm set. All right, that is the whole thing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. David, I hope this helps you. I hope this helps your clients and your customers. Thanks for tuning in. If you are not familiar with Booth Events, check out our awesome AI portrait feature and all of the other features that we have. That's it for now. Thanks.